Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Vigor. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going over a bunch of new details about Vigor uh, that we actually learned in their live stream yesterday. So Bohemia did a live stream yesterday talking about some new things with the game, showcasing it for the first time on stream. They did say that they're going to be doing a stream every single Wednesday moving forward. But uh, they did show some new gameplay. They actually showed some PvP gameplay that still looks a little shaky. Um, I know that the the bloom, I guess you could say, and then the, the aiming, the way the weapons work with the aiming and stuff, it's not quite where it needs to be, in my opinion. That was probably one of the biggest things I saw in the chat um, in the stream yesterday was people talking about the aiming and stuff. But we're going to be going over some character customization details, some really cool features that are going to be on the map that if that are sort of pulled from the Battle Royale genre and all sorts of cool things. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is character customization so currently in the early access build that we are going to be able to have here very very soon we have four different items that we can customize as you can see here we have the uniform the headgear gloves and the backpack all these are strictly cosmetic and they're going to change the way your character looks but they did say that before the early access period is over they are going to be adding more and then at the full release there are going to be all sorts of customizations that you're going to be able to do from head to toe basically to make it so that your character looks very unique and there were actually a lot of different options they kind of scrolled through like the jackets and stuff on the uniforms and there was a boatload of different choices and stuff that you could pick from and each individual item that you could customize had a lot of different variations with especially with the backpacks so there was a bunch of different backpack variations that you could use um, and this was strictly cosmetic it did not actually affect how much stuff you could carry it's pretty much all standard of how much you can carry and stuff and the for the most part they didn't really touch base on too much with the base building as you can kind of see here this is the uh, shelter that you're going to have so they did say that in the actual game preview version of the game we're not going to have a crazy lot of options with this shelter but the, the longer you play the more resources and stuff that you generate you're going to be able to upgrade this place so the first thing that they did say was in the actual stream they fixed up one of the things and it actually made it so that the place looked a little bit better and then the fireplace that was in the in the in the actual building was burning you know it's you can see there real quick that it was out it was just a few uh, like little coals and stuff in the fire but then you know the further you upgrade you're gonna be able to like fix the roof and all sorts of stuff and what this is going to do is it's going to increase the resource generation so you're gonna be able to craft weapons and stuff as well as it's gonna reduce the time it takes to craft weapons and all sorts of other cool specific things that you're gonna be able to do at your base and what's really cool is it's in an offline area and it's in a pretty cool area to say the least just because it's kind of right on this, this lake with like the mountain backdrop and stuff so it's a cool location and you don't actually have to worry about people coming over and raiding your base and stuff which I know there's some people out there that think that would probably be a pretty cool addition to the game but overall I'm glad to see this area is in an offline and in an offline state I guess you could say so one of the other cool things they did talk about was when you go into these maps there's going to be a bunch of other people that obviously spawn on the map with you in different areas and there's going to be at least on the map that we saw yesterday during the stream there was three extraction points that you could actually leave the map at and the longer you're in the raid I believe it was at least in the example they showed us yesterday is shortly after the supply drop so there's a random airdrop that drops into the map and at the start of each map when you look at your in-game map you can see where its general location of where it's going to land so it's kind of a cat and mouse game kind of hanging out around the supply drop of where it's going to come in at but what's really cool is, is after the supply drop comes in you can definitely tell like on the map there's like a wind direction and then there's actually radiation that starts to blow into the map from that direction so each time you play the map the wind direction is going to be different and you have to accommodate for that because when at a certain point during the map radiation is going to start blowing into the map similar to how like your circle in Fortnite or PUBG will be and if you hang out inside of that radiation for too long you're going to end up dying so it's definitely going to affect gameplay especially when it comes to extracting out of the map which is going to be very cool I'm glad to see something like this because that's one thing that Escape from Tarkov does not have you know they have a raid timer so once the timer hits zero if you did not extract you're basically your character's gone you you die but uh, with this, it's going to be kind of forcing players that are still on the map, kind of funneling them towards each other, which is going to be really cool. It's definitely going to provide for some really unique gameplay and stuff. And like I said, it all comes from different directions each time you play the map. But you will know when you're entering an area that has radiation because you have a you actually have a radiation detector on you, a Geiger counter that will start ticking faster and faster if you actually get into that radiation storm that's actually moving over onto the map, which is really, really cool. And obviously, it's... 
this the way the game looks like it's going to be playing as long as they adjust the recoil and stuff it should be pretty cool um, I'm looking forward to it and then also real quick I'm gonna pop a, a short clip from the stream up on screen here real quick and you guys can see that this is actually the snow map so I believe there's like five or six different maps that we're gonna be getting in the game preview along with this snow map and it's always snowing when you're in this map you can see here that the visibility looks you know it's not very far and it surprisingly looks very very good and this is going to be running on the Xbox one guys exclusively Xbox one Xbox one s Xbox one X and they did say that they optimized it for the Xbox One S. Unfortunately, I did not see them say anything about running at a 60 frames per second on the Xbox One X. But their goal was to get a 30 frames per second on a 1080p, which I'm kind of disappointed in. I would really like to see them push for like a 60 FPS um, 1080 or a 60 FPS 4K on the Xbox One X, but uh, only time will tell. I'm assuming when the game actually comes out in Q1 2019, we are going to get something on the high-end Xbox, hopefully 60 frames. I, I would care less if they pushed 4K. If they could deliver 60 frames on the Xbox One X, that would be absolutely amazing. But uh, overall, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I just kind of wanted to go over some of the new stuff that we actually found out in the live stream from Vigor yesterday. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys found it helpful, you guys are excited for Vigor coming to the Xbox Game Pre preview any day pretty much make sure to drop a like on the video also if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things with vigor state of decay 2 escape from tarkov and many other survival games moving forward but that is all for now thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out